In this video, we are going to learn about how we can create the report and forms using the wizard. What is a form? Just like you fill in the Google form or other forms for taking admission or for your medical forms or any other form. The so same way you can create form out of the database in OpenOffice Base as well. A form provides the user a systematic way of storing information into the database so the forms are used to enter the data in the database they are used to edit they are used to view and change the data in the database objects like tables we will learn how to create the form using wizard as we have da four database objects table queries forms and report third one is forms so when i click on forms i can create the form in design view and using the wizard we are going to use wizard to create the form the form wizard has eight steps the very first step is to select the fields so again you have the tables over here now i have two tables employee and details so all the tables will appear here i'll select student detail because i have number of fields and more data in this table now what i want in my form suppose i want uh, the user to enter the data so i want them to enter the data in all of the fields so i can use this to move all the fields to my form next one is to set up a sub form like when you're filling up student form is there any other form that you would like them to fill up like uh, their personal information father name or the name so if you have created them you can attach it we do not have any so we are going to click on next now this is the way it is going to appear like id name or if you want to change it change the format you can do so like if you want it like this or if you want it like this this is how it is going to appear after selecting a particular way uh, you can click on next then what do you want this form to do if you select this option this option will help you only to enter the new records in the table when you select this option all these options will be disabled you are not allowed to modify the data you are not allowed to delete the existing data i want everything to be done using the form i want the modification also i want the deletion also so i select on this option and then click on next now this is the different themes that you can use for your form and then if you want to give border you can do so or you want the 3d look and then click on next then you can select the name then what is you want to do next you want to work with the form or you want to change anything within this form i want to work with the form so click on finish as i have used this form to view the data to change the data to delete the data and to add the new record so everything is accessible to me from this table student i can view the record see so it is right now the first record if i want to see the next one i click on this button and this is how i can view all the records in my table i have some total seven records if i want to add another record this is how i can click on this button and this will leave all the blanks where i can add the data so id is 8 so when you click on the save record your record is saved this button will help you to view the record add a new record this will be active only when you add a new record this for the first record similarly this for the last record this for the previous record this for the next record if you want to make changes in your data suppose i want to change the city so i'll write mumbai here and then i'll click on save it will save my changes here and if i want to delete the record let's say i want to delete this record then i can click on this button to delete the record it will ask for your confirmation click on yes if you want to delete so i have total seven records again next we have reports report help you to display the data in summarized manner learn this by heart and write this definition whenever it is there in your exam just simple one line definition not so complicated similarly for form just learn the definition these are the basic definition that are there in your exam now the forms are used to generate the overall work outcome in a clear format you can create reports in the database out of one table or more than one table we are going to use the wizard to create the report see this is the form that we have created now we'll come to reports when you click on report we have the wizard to create the report click on this the wizard will get open it will show you the tables and the query that you have created i have created the one of the query so that query is also available here but i want to create the report out of the table so i'll select this table and i want all the fields in my report click on next now again if you want to change any field name you can do so then click on next do you want to group them i do not want any grouping i just want to create a report i want to see all the data after that i'm going to sort them according to their row number and click on next this will help you to view how your 
you want your report to be different formats are there different layouts are there which you can choose from so i'm going to take this one and after this just click on and here you can select the orientation as well different options are there you can explore them click on next and then you will give the report the name is student report now we have two things over here what kind of report do you want to create you want to create a static or dynamic report what is static means fixed and dynamic means which change so static report means whatever the data you have in the table it will take only that data if there is any change done by the user that change will not be reflected in this report suppose you have created the report today and tomorrow i have changed some data so that change data will not be reflected in your report but if you create a dynamic report the changes will be reflected today you create the report after two days you make the changes so that changes that you have done after two days of making the report that change data will be reflected in your report as well what do you want to do with the report you want to modify anything and you want to create the report now so i am going to create the report now click on finish and this is how your report will be displayed i hope the concepts are clear to you but in case you have any doubt you can write in the comment section and tune into my channel for the coming videos thank you so much